right. Everybody, what is up? Fuck, that's a clean haircut. That's clean, man. That's fucking clean. Haircut was a success, obviously. Uh, this morning, I have no plans, and I'm actually about to make a coffee, get some caffeine in the system. Who's that? No one. Um, yeah, but I've got to say, man, I'm fucking stoked with this haircut. And I'm so close, so close to being able to tie it back, it's not even funny. So, I think another couple of months and we'll be tying it back consistently. Which is exciting. I'm going to get onto the coffee, get my caffeine in the system, and start my day. One good thing about staying here at my dad's place is that he's got glass bottles for his water rather than plastic. And when you come to think about it, it's such a good idea because plastic, you know, if you leave a plastic bottle in the fridge for ages and you keep using it, they say that the plastic starts coming out in the water and you start getting unhealthy. Well, if you've got glass bottles, not only does it keep it nice and cold after you've brought it out of the fridge, because the glass is cold, but it's just a lot more healthy. And um, what I've been doing is mixing probably about half a scoop of All Day You May um, in, in the bottle first thing in the morning and then I'll be drinking this as well as uh, coffee. So get that underway and I'll catch you guys in a sec. A little bit of cold water and there we have it. So with my coffee, I've been having them black <clears throat> for probably the last like I don't know, six months or so. Um, recently, another reason why I'm having them black is so I don't have any dairy products, but in saying that, when I think about it, if I eat things like chocolate, I mean, that's got dairy products in it, right? I mean, I have been eating chocolate. <laughs> so, uh, really, I don't know if a drop of milk is really gonna count, but you know, I actually enjoy a black coffee. For some reason, I actually really do like the taste rather than having a like a milky sort of you know creamy sort of texture. Um, actually, the texture doesn't change; it's just the look. And for some reason, I like black coffee. I don't know why, but this one looks rather nice, as you can see. All right. Um, yeah, when I said before that I didn't have any plans, that's ridiculous because I do have plans today. I just forgot about them. And today I'm going to go visit my mate Adam, who went to school with me at Kashmir High School. Um, I don't know if any viewers or many viewers are from Christchurch, but if you are, you might know Kashmir. And um, that's the high school that I went to. I wanted to go to Christchurch Boys really, really, really badly because it's quite a prestigious school when it comes to sport. And um, sport was pretty much my life back then. So when I didn't get in there... And it sucks because my dad went there. It's ridiculous. It was stupid because they took away the policy that said if you had a dad or a grandfather that went to that school, you'd have automatic entry. And um, I don't know, obviously the population growth and stuff, they can't, they can't hold that many people. So they had to change it to a zoning system so you had to be in a particular zone, which is the way they are these days. Um, and I didn't get in. So... Anyways, that's all right. I went to Kashmir High School. It was quite cool because I went to South Intermediate, which was the intermediate associated to Kashmir because it was in that area. So, you know, I, I almost knew half of my year group anyway before I even went to high school, which was quite cool. Uh, so it made it a lot easier. But, um, yeah, met a guy, Adam, and he lived in Sumner, which was just over the, over the hill from Littleton, which is where I lived. And, um, yeah, we spent, we spent high school hanging out the whole time, me, him, and a few others. And, um, you know, most of us have sort of gone on our different paths, but Adam's still in Christchurch, and he's had a kid. And unbelievably, I've been back like three times in the last two years, and I still haven't seen him. And I definitely haven't seen his kid. So, he is turning 
two, and his name's Jackson. And um, I'm going to go over and catch up with Adam and meet his son for the first time, which should be great. Should be great. So things are changing in this world, man. We're not so young anymore, are we? Well, not my age group anyway. Uh, and then after that, I'm actually staying at my mum's tonight. So usually I'll stay here in Shirley with my dad because he's got a place. Mum has sort of been in Australia. She's been in Darwin. She's been in Christchurch, all over the place. At the moment, she's got a place too. So that's cool. I can go stay with her. So I'm going to stay there the next two nights and really have a good catch up, which would be good. Because, yeah, obviously I came here because of my dad, but, you know, things are improving. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with how he's going, and, you know, that, that takes the pressure off a little bit, and I can go and do my own thing, uh, which I am going to do. So, I won't. He doesn't like fitness. He's not into YouTube or anything, so I'm not going to bring out the camera, but that'll be a cool time. And I'll catch up with you guys later on. So, wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing, have a great day. Peace. Alright, so I just got your old mate, Monster, White Monster. They're fucking everywhere now. So uh, us Australians and New Zealanders have finally caught up to America when it comes to white and orange monsters. But with that said, I'm just about to head round to my mate Adam's place, about five minutes away. Can't wait to get there. It's going to be a fucking awesome catch up. I hung out with this guy every single day for about fucking seven years up until I left New Zealand so should be good otherwise please hold the line please note that all calls are recorded to improve our service to you uh yeah okay well basically um I've been in Australia, the la I've had a student loan before back in 2010 and I'm currently paying that back. Um, so I've been in Australia uh, living and working for the last five years. I've what I'm wondering is, I'm just checking if I'm still eligible to get student loans. What's, what's the go there? Like, do you have to pay off a certain amount before you can get another one or like? Um, well, there are all those numbers because you're a New Zealand citizen. policy is if you owe IRD more than $500, it doesn't mean your overall like student loan that you've taken out with us, it just means um, making sure that you don't owe any default payments to them. Right, yeah. Um, then on the system, yep. New Zealand Institute of Sport, yes. Yeah, okay, sweet. Well, yeah, that would be, and I'll be doing it on campus here in um, Christchurch. So, But yeah, I just wanted to, I don't have any, I did have outstanding payments of interest payments and shit that I hadn't paid, but I have cleared all those, so it shouldn't be a problem, right? Yeah, 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 it shouldn't be a problem. So. Okay, so if I was to confirm dates of the course that I actually wanted to do, what would be my next step? You to set up an account and everything with us, and then you're, uh, once you've set up the account, you advise us for, um, through the eligibility test who you're going to study with, and, it, and then it goes from there to apply for the student loan, so just under first time student. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Um, okay then. All right, thanks very much. You're welcome. Cheers. Bye. Bye. All oh, right, so that was um, StudyLink, which is the people who run student loans here in New Zealand. And I have been recently thinking a lot about, you know, am I ever actually going to get into the fitness industry properly as a job and as a career? I mean, that's really the only thing I have a real passion behind and I can help people without even thinking about it. I love seeing people change their physiques and um, reach goals and things like that. So. And I'd also love to live back in Christchurch for a little bit. I've always said that. I've always, I, every time I come back, I fucking have a great time. I've just went and seen my mate Adam. Uh, you know, I'm going to catch up with a few more guys on the weekend. Like, it's just, it's really cool. And I'd love to live back here just for a bit. Um, and also, I can take advantage of being a New Zealand citizen and get my student loan. Um, and then pay it back over time. Because in Australia... I'm not eligible for a student loan and I'd have to pay all my course fees up front um, or pay them back uh, with at an interest rate because it's not interest free like it is here in New Zealand. So um, yeah, just rung up then and I would be looking into it at doing a course on campus because I want to be immersed in the whole culture of it. I want to be 
you know, I want to be around other people that are trying to get in the same industry as me. I don't want to be an online student. It doesn't work for me. I'd love to go into a campus um, and, and do that. And I think, you know, I'm 26 soon. If I do it next year, I'll be 26. And I think that's probably getting on a little bit, especially in this industry. So I really need to do it fast. And, um, and obviously, the New Zealand Institute of Sport is pretty well known. And I'd like to think that I could trust them as far as getting an actual good quality uh, service and, you know, learning experience. So anyways, that's what I've been thinking about. And I just rung up then, told them I was living back here, which I'm not. But, you know, all that has to happen for me to actually be living back here is just me being here because I'm a New Zealand citizen. I've got my birth certificate, passport, all that shit. So it's just a matter of picking a date and then trying to organize it. And then I can get a student loan. Um, and live back here. I'll, I'll probably get a job as well, like maybe a night job or something, get a bit of part-time work. But yeah, it's pretty, it's definitely on my mind. And the thing is like, the other option would be living in Alice and doing like an online course, obviously. But I just don't think that that is going to, It's it doesn't interest me. I really want the experience of actually going through the course and working with the tutors and stuff like that because you know in, in time maybe I'd want to be one of those people um, yeah so we'll see I don't know what's gonna happen anyway I, I went and saw Adam that was fucking cool and I'm catching up with him again this weekend but in the meantime I'm having a pre-workout meal and then we'll be off to the gym peace right what's happening people we have just been to the gym and we've hit back. So what that means guys is that after I, well my face looks really bright right now, um, after I told you um, probably a few days ago that motivation hadn't been high, I hadn't been training hard, my diet hasn't been, hadn't been on point, you know I was getting worried. Um, since then I went and did chest and shoulders and then I did arms that first day I did legs yesterday, a big session, and today I've gone and done back. So that means I've done everything in three days. My diet has been on point. We did the meal prep yesterday. Um, you know, I've eaten probably three or four of those meals already. So I feel like I've got good nutrition running through my veins as well as chocolate and as well as sugary shit as well. But at least I've got that good, you know, wholesome food as a base rather than relying on all that shitty food, you know, completely. Um, it's, I guess, a bit of flexible dieting, probably about 30% junk, 70% good food at the moment. Before that, it was probably about 60-40 in favor of junk food, so it really wasn't good. But anyways, back day's done. Um, I actually, I saw a guy in there that I'd seen the other day, and I asked if I could work in with him, and he said yes, and it was both our first exercise on back, and... Um, we ended up doing the whole workout together, so that was quite cool. And you know, that's that's the kind of thing that you can do and find in the gym every day, man. You can you can find good people, good positive people. Um, you're going to have a common interest. Um, you know, you're always going to find something to talk about if you're training hard together. There's no bonding experience like fucking putting yourselves through a grueling workout apart from team sports. I will say that team sports is definitely the best bonding experience you can you can ha you can have. Um, but training in the gym is it's definitely close. But anyways, um, I've just come down to Casbah Moroccan Grill. Don't know if you can see it, but definitely one of my favorite places here in in um, Christchurch and it's basically got a whole selection of meats and salads and you know just really delicious things that you can have in, an, in like a bowl it's kind of like a burrito bowl but it's um, Moroccan stuff so what's burrito is that Mexican I'm not sure anyways I'm about to go get me and dad a feed and I'll show you guys what I get boom Man, I can't wait to eat this shit. So damn good. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh.